What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. In today's video, we got ourselves a good one. We're going to be showcasing one of my favorite Gen 4 Pokemon of all time, Honchkrow. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, yo, come on. Come on, please, please subscribe to the channel. Scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button, and join the community. But we used Honchkro in the past, and like when we first started doing our BDSP competitive battles, and he was tons of fun. He's a great physical attacker, and he's great at speed control because he learns Tailwind as well. So, cannot wait to use him, cannot wait to showcase him yet again for you guys. But let's get started here with today's team preview, starting off with the one and only Honchkro. It's a great physical attacker, like I said, so it gets a great move set with Sucker Punch, Night Slash, Tailwind, and Brave Bird. So we got two stat moves with Night Slash and Brave Bird. Then we got first turn priority with Sucker Punch and Speed Control with Tailwind. We gave this thing the Focus Ash as item, so it can't get one tap, and then most turns are going to obviously get off that Tailwind because it cannot die easily. So pretty, pretty good. I'm loving it so much. Next Pokemon on the squad is going to be our Citrus Berry Rotom. Cannot go wrong with them. Fully invested into special attack and speed you know just so we can do big damage and outspeed our opponent we got thunderbolt hydro pump nasty spot and protect a fairly normal moveset for any single real time it can set up it can deal big damage that's really all we need it for third pokemon on the squad is going to be the lovely scissor with the uh what what's that item metal coat it's rocking the metal coat not the life orb because life orb is on a different pokemon on the team we got X Scissor, Bull Punch, Swords Dance, and Protect, obviously with that Technician ability, and then our Bull Punch will get a nice little uh, damage increase due to that Metal Coat as our item. So, cannot go wrong with Scissor. Really great physical attack on the squad. Next Pokemon is going to be Gary the Gyarados over here. Great Pokemon because it learns Intimidate. And Intimidate is such a huge factor in this format, in the BDSP format, I should say. Because, you know, Intimidate is just amazing. Drops physical attack, minus one. It's just huge. It is just huge all around. We got Waterfall. We got Ice Bank. We got Dragon Nest set up. And then last but not least, we are rocking out with Protect on our Gyarados. This Pokemon is actually holding a Life Orb over the Scissor because I just think it's a lot better. I just, I'm not going to say it's better than Scissor with a Life Orb, but Scissor has a different option. You go into that, uh, what is it, the Metal Coat? So we can give this Gyarados. We can allow this Gyarados to actually have a Life Orb. So I really do like this item and moveset for this guy. Next Pokemon on the team is going to be our second Intimidate Pokemon. Two Intimidate Pokemon, really, really good. I really do like it, especially when we go up against a, a team with a lot of physical attackers. So having both these guys could be awesome. This guy is close to combat. He's got the wide guard. He's got fake out, and he's rocking helping hand. So he can get flinches. He can also support with the wide guard helping hand. And then he can also do some big stab damage with close combat. He's also rocking the, uh, what is it, the Expert Belt as his item, so super effective damage. We'll do a bit more. I think it's 1.2 times multiplier, which is a huge help. Definitely is a huge help. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be the one and only Tangrowth. Great support mod and great at redirecting attacks with Rage Powder. It's got Sleep Powder as well to put Pokemon to sleep. Giga Drain for stab and to get HP recovery. And last but not least, it's Rock and Sludge Bomb. And its item is, I believe, the Koba Berry. Yeah, it is the Koba Berry. But there it is, guys. There's a team preview. Let's hop into that Coliseum and get rolling with this Honchkrow team. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopping into battle number one for today's video. And thank God our opponent was picking the rules and he picked four Pokemon. You gotta love the Coliseum. The Coliseum is awesome. I love it so much. But we're rocking out with the Honchko team. And I'm probably gonna lead Honchko. Honchko is just such a good lead. It has the focus edge. It can set up Tailwind. It really depends on who he has. But dude, this guy's rocking a cool team. I love it. He's got Rotom Heat, Garchomp, Lapras, Licky Licky. Makes it off better. I love it. And then he's got the Raichu and the Tokens. Okay, so Raichu could be led for a fake out. Um, who else could he lead? I think Licky Licky's physical attacking, so mm, we could lead Lapras. Lapras could definitely be scary, but I'm going to go straight into the Honchkrow. I really do like the Honchkrow and probably with the hit on top combo. I'm just digging. I'm just digging because if he wants to go into Tokus, we can fake it out and then we can also wide guard it as Which could be lovely. Could definitely be lovely. I'm going to lead him on top. We get that Intimidate out there as well. And then we're going to go Gyarados because Gyarados is super effective up against onto that uh, top Heat alongside with that Garchomp and to the Tokus because we do have Ice Rack. So I do like that. And then do we go Scissor. This is not bad. We gotta watch, watch out for the lightning right on the right. Or we could go Tangrowth. Tangrowth really isn't too shabby. He's got the sleep powder. It could do a lot. As long as we can get rid of that Rotom heat. So I'm actually liking Tangrowth in this situation. We showed off plenty of Rotom Wash, plenty of Scissor. Let's get this Tangrowth in this battle and try to showcase it. But let's see who this guy's gonna lead. I really do want to. Probably Raichu, maybe, right? Probably gonna lead Raichu. Yeah, Raichu and Token. So from here, I could. Oh, I think I'm. Oh, I cannot protect the Honchko. I cannot protect Honchko. I could just eat up our focus actually. I could definitely eat up the Focus Ash. Hmm. What's your player? I think we just have to fake out the Tokus, right? Or will Wide Guard come out beforehand? Wide Guard might come out beforehand, which could be good. Hmm. Will Wide Guard come out before the Gleam? 
or the fake out. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Let's see if we can get rolling with this. Does not. So fake out's gonna come out here first. And he's I knew I should have faked out the Togus. I knew I should have faked out the Togus. But Wagar's gonna come out here, which is totally fine. We definitely should have faked out the Togus. And is this thing going for Gleam? It does go for Gleam. So Wygard doing us wonders. Doing us wonders. And we learned something there, which is absolutely me. We learned that the Wygard doesn't come out before. I guess they're both first turn priority. So that's how it goes. That is just how it goes. But from here, I could just set up a tailwind. And just Y guard again, right? Hmm. Was he gonna volt switch to take me out? We might just say screw the tailwind. Go for a sucker punch. In close combat and also take out that uh that Raichu. Or I can hard swap. Into tan growth. Wouldn't be too shabby. You have sludge bomb. But then air slash is scaring me. This is tough. I think we just have to let the Honcho go down here. I think we have to let the Honcho go down here. We go into a Night Slash. But I think Sucker Punch is going to be our play. Take off that Focus Ash and then just drop it with Close Combat. I'm kind of with it. We're going to have to get rid of you. Sucker Punch comes through here. It fails. What is this thing going for? Encore. It's Encore me into a wide guard. Could have set up an easy tail with it. Could have set up an easy tail. He's just gonna go for an air slash. He encores me as well. Wow, what a play by him. I'll give it to him all day. I'll give it to him all day. You know what? We're just gonna go for his tail. And we're gonna try to take speed control for the rest of the battle. And we're just gonna go into. We have to swap. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to swap here. We're gonna go for an air slash. We're gonna go into this Gyarados here. I think Gyarados could definitely be the play if we can get this off. Because then I can just rage powder, maybe set up a dragon dance, and try to go for a Gyarados sweep. Could be good. Could definitely be good. He's gonna go for it. dang dude if we would have set up a tailwind last turn we could have been thriving we could have been thriving but this dude is just out playing us hard he's out playing us hard right here hmm hmm hmm, hmm. what am i gonna do like, this is solid yo dude our opponent's doing good our opponent's doing good so we gotta we're kind of in a hole right now we gotta we gotta we gotta dig ourselves out of here we're gonna oh he's gonna actually withdraw that's totally fine so he's gonna withdraw we're gonna withdraw that's totally fine. And we're going to try to set up his tail. He's going to bring out... Ooh. It's lovely. Come on top. Come back. We're going to get out of Gyarados. It's going to be good. It's going to be real good. Gyarados is going to poke out here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Intimidate's going to poke here. But the one problem is he can go for follow me. He's kind of just like redirect shots. Hmm. He's going to go for an air slash. And we should be able to eat this up. It's in the game. Eat that up all day. Is that a crit? It was not a crit. Tailwind's going to be setting up. Okay. So now we have speed. Now we do indeed have speed. And from here, I could just go for a, uh, for a nice slash. Try to go for his crit, but Brave Bird's probably going to play, right? Yeah, we're we'll going through a Brave Bird here. And I'm just going to protect. I should protect my Gyarados. He could be going for a follow me into a Thunderbolt, which I could definitely see happening. So I'm going to see if I can get off as much damage as I possibly can onto the Toad Kiss Wait, I got to protect Gary. I have to protect Gary. He's going to withdraw the Rotom. Okay, that's a solid turn. That's a solid turn. I'll take it all day. I will take it all day. He's probably going for a Gleam now. He's going to go into Lapras. I'm going for a water shot. I'm going to protect Gyarados. He's probably going for the Gleam at this point. But still, our, our Honchkrow will outspeed and at least be able to get off of Brave Bird. We're going to bring out this. Beal. And oh, ho, ho, ho. Honchkrow. Honchkrow. Big damage for the Honch, dude. Big damage for the Honch. Yeah, we love to see it. We love to see it. He's going to bring out the Lapras, which is fine. We have the Tangrowth in the back to kind of counter that. He's going to bring back out the Ratchet, right? Yeah, Ratchet comes back out. And who are you going to fake out? Who are you going to fake out? At this point, I'm just going to go for that. Do I go for that Night Slash? Hey, dude, yeah, we landed a big old crit on that. Uh, I mean, I'm not worried about the Lapras. I'm more worried about that. But we landed a big old crit onto the... Uh, onto that Tokus. That was awesome. He's going to go for a fake out. He's going to fake out Honchko. I'm cool with that. He's just going to take out the Honchko after this. I was going to set up a Dragon Dance, but I'm cool with this. Look at that. Yo, the damage. The damage is lovely. And we should have one more turn left of Tail Watch. He brings out a Berry. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. We'll still take him out in the next shot. Berry really doesn't do anything. Stitchberry comes out here, Honchko flinches, and Lapras is going to go for a freeze try to finish off this Honchko. So good work. I, I, yo, Honchko came in clutch there. Came in clutch. Lovely little clutch for Honchko. Okay, so we know that thing's ripping with freeze try. We could just go... We go into him on top. No, we save... Do we save our him on top? I think we just go into Tangrowth here. I think Tangrowth is definitely a play. We have speed right now. I think Tailwind is still out and about, which is lovely. It's just beautiful. So from this point, we just go into a straight Giga Drain. No need to go into... Actually, we could go into a Sleep Powder. Kind of with going for a Sleep Powder. Sleep Powder onto the Lapras. 
and then just waterfalling across here. I am liking that. We have to keep our our Gyarados alive here. The only way. It's gonna use a faint here. That's totally fine. It's not gonna take us out. And then get waterfalls can come out here, take you out, and I'm pretty sure Tangrowth should outspeed the Slappers in the Tailwind. And we gotta hope we can land the Sleep Powder. We gotta hope that Sleep Powder's land. Come on, Tangrowth. I bought I brought you here for a reason. Brought you here for a reason. Sleep Powder comes out here. Tangrowth! 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 You're better than that! Tangrowth, you are better than that. You are so much better than that. You are so much better than that. I think we just lost. I think we just lost, man. Dude, no way. Well, we're doing good. Okay, so I'm trying to think of how we can actually win this battle. We do have hit my top ready to roll. We have Intimidate out here. That's going to do nothing up against these special attackers. Uh, Hand girls, you have to land those. You have to land those all day. From here, we're going to sleep out of the... We're going to try to put this that thing to sleep. And we're going to fake him out as well. We're going to double down into this thing. I hope he's not protecting. Hopefully he's protecting the Lapras, maybe, but we'll see. We shall see. Fake out comes out. Beautiful. Beep. Make that thing flinch. Come on, sleep out. I need you to land. He's going to go for another freeze ride. Go into Tango. Tango's going to eat that. Cool. Tango soaks. That's beautiful. We need you to land sleep out. Thank you. Okay, we put this thing to sleep. There's still a decent chance I'm going to win this battle. Real decent chance, because we're just gonna go into a Giga Drain. We know that what's called cannot take us out here. Uh, do I double down into this? Yeah, I'm gonna double down into this. We know that the Lapras can't take us out with a Freeze Drain, unless it gets a crit or like a high roll. Because it didn't do half for damage last time. And then if we get off a Giga Drain, we get off some mean HP back. Some mean HP. So big time sleep for us. He's still sl sleeping, which is amazing. And we're gonna get one from here. I'm on top of these close combat. Yeah. And wow. That did a lot more damage than I thought it would. A lot more damage than I thought it would. Drops are defense, but we're thriving here. We're thriving here. We came to play. We came to play. He's going to pop a berry. That's totally fine because this Giga Drain should be able to take it out and give us enough HP back, which is great. Let's see what he goes into. He's going to go into the freeze dry. You should be able to eat this up, Tanger. Don't let me down here. Let's go. On one, baby. On one. Awesome. Giga Drain comes out here. Okay, that thing, please. Let's go. Ouch. Ouch, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Okay. That hurts a lot. Okay, we're gonna have to go into a sludge bomb here. And you outspeed, so we're just gonna we're just gonna go into close combat. We cannot allow a thing to take out my tank roof. Please still be asleep, right? He should still be asleep. Two turns. Lapras protects, that's fine. That is fine. I'm with it all day. Rotom should still be asleep. It woke up one turn sleep? Yo, yo, yo. Come on. Get out of my face. Get out my face. Get on out my face. One turn sleep for the road time. No problem. Dude, if it was me, it'd be three turns in a row. That would have been super close. That would have came down to the wire. And I'm, and I'm paranoid. The RNG for this first battle, definitely not on our side. We definitely outplayed our opponent late in that battle. But I think we should have won that one. I really do. Just think. He should be asleep that turn. Like, two turns is like the optimal sleep. One turn sleep. Come on. He definitely got lucky there. Um... Close combat would have came out next turn. We would have taken out the Lapras. We would have already hit that thing with a Sludge Bomb. And then he would have had to pick on who he was KO. Because Discharge obviously doesn't kill Tango. That would have been super close. It honestly would have been close. But I'm going to have to run this battle now. It's all good. It's GG's. We're sitting at 0-1 for battle. No. That first battle was a game of inches. I can't believe we lost that one. Great plays by our opponent. Great plays with, by us but at the same time. Came down to the wire and we legit lost to RNG. He still might have won that battle, but we had a shot if... You know, that road time didn't wake up. But we're hopping into our second battle here. And our opponent's rocking a cool team here. Mawile, Gallade, Roserade, Mighty Anna, who you never see. And then he has Milotic and Perkley. Gotta say, Defiant Perkley. Gotta watch out for that. And it, and it does learn Fake Out as well. So we definitely, definitely have to watch out for that. Gonna lead the Honchko. Did some big damage in battle number one. Absolutely dumped on that Togekiss with that crit. Love it so much. So we're gonna lead Honchko again. Um, We might lead Tangrowth here. We might lead Tangrowth. Who do we think is gonna lead? We could lead uh, Scissors. Scissors did not too shabby. But we really have to watch out for that Defiant Perkley, so I don't think I want to lead him. I do not think I want to lead to him on top for our fake out. Man, I wish I had Weeball at this point. I do wish we had Weeball. But uh, we'll go into Scissor here. We do like Scissor, and then we're going to bring Gyarados, or do we bring Rotom? Do we not bring any Intimidate? I think Gyarados could be a little bit better here. Intimidate could come in big in the back end. we got to watch out for competitive Milotic. We're going to bring in Tangrowth here as well. Okay, I'm with it. 
I'm liking it. I'm digging it, yo. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down and let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. Because we're sitting at 0-1. We have to fight for that winning record. So we need a win here to help us, you know, get that winning record. We need it. He's going to go into the Perkley alongside with the Glade. Um, we're going to go into a Scissor and our Hanshi. And our lovely little Haunch Crow. So he does have Fake Out rolling with the Perkley. We know that for a fact. We could try to set up a Tailwind. I'm just going to go straight for a Brave Bird here. Actually, I'm going to try to set up a Tailwind. He allows us to. That could be love. That could be blue. Okay, so we're gonna go into, gonna go into that, and I think try to set up a sword stance. I think we go into a sword stance here. And the only reason I say we go into a sword stance here is I feel like we have to set up our team if they're going. Right? Vega comes here into my Hanjiro, so we are gonna get off the sword stance with him, and he's gonna sword stance, and so are we. So we got bull punch ready to roll. We have bull punch ready to roll. I could protect this turn and allow myself to set up a good one. It could be wonderful. But we were thinking the same way. So good thing I did set up the sword stance. So he, he sets up sword stance. I set up sword stance. I have first turn priority. He probably has mock punch though. It's kind of scary. You know, we're going to go for this tailwind here. I'm just going to go for a bull punch, right? Yeah. I'm just going to go straight for a bull punch. We have to get after his Pokemon. He's going to go for a shadow sneak. That's fine. We should be able to eat that up all day, right? Yeah, shadow sneak. We soak that up. Beautiful. We're going to rock into a bull punch. Look how much damage we have. Yo, huge damage. Get on out my face, Galade. Get on out of here. The Shadow Sneak does nothing compared to this Bull Punch. He's going to go into a Hypnosis. He's going to put me to sleep. And I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. He puts me to sleep. I'm chilling. I was actually thinking of throwing a Lumberry on the Scissor, which I probably should have done. So we get rid of him. We're going to set up a nice lovely tail here. So Speed Control is going to take in our favor. Hodgeco can do some big damage over in the Perk Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm loving it. Okay, Scissor's asleep. That's fine. That's fine. We took out his big old lead. He's going to bring out Competitive Milotic. Okay, so we do have our boy in the back end. We do have our boy in the back end. I think I should go for a Night Slash here. We're gonna go for Night Slash alongside with. I guess we'll go for a Bull Punch. I guess we'll try to double down into this thing, but we're gonna be asleep this turn, so we know that for a fact. Battle was good. Light work. Light work all day. Battle number two was sweet and straight to the point. We got rid of our opponent's Glade. He ended up quitting the battle. We are sitting at 1 and 1, which is absolutely amazing. Now we got a chance to actually. Oh my god. Bro, what you mean? Oh, and he picked six. It's a six Pokemon battle. It's a six Pokemon battle. I didn't even check the rules, but it says six up top. We're going up against full legendary squad. Yo, your boy's got this. Your boy's got this. I'm, I'm going to win this one. We're going to lead the Hanshi. Hanshi's definitely getting lead, and we're going to lead hit my top as well because we're going to need speed control. We're going to fake out. We're going to get rolling from here. I think we can pick six, right? I think we can pick six. We can pick six. Oh, yeah. Run it up, dude. This dude picked the rules. He said, yo, let's have six Pokemon. Run this up. Run this up. We are 1-0 and oh up against full legendary teams. Let's do it again, yo. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. He's going to end up leading the Garatina and the Pal. I'm fine with that. Run it up. Run this up. So we're just going to fake out the Palkia, and I'm going to set up a tail. That's my play all day long. All day long. Pressure's going to come out here. Psh, we ain't worried about it. We ain't worried about it. We're going to intimidate these special attackers. <laughs> we're intimidating these special attackers. We're still fine. Really fine. I'm really, I really have him on top out on the field just for a nice little thing. So let's get rolling here. This guy wants to smoke. We'll give it to him. We'll set up the tail one here. And we are just going to go for the fake out. Fake out's definitely fine. Give him the little clap skis. Flinch him. Let's set up the tail one. Yeah. Big old fake out. Nice damage too there as well. Not bad. Not bad. Hanshko does outspeed Garatina regardless. But I have to set up the tail one for the squad. We have to start taking speed control and all from here. He's going to go for Shadow Force. That's fine. He vanishes instantly. You can do that all day. You can do that all day. Okay. Uh, we're going to the Night Slash here. We know we can't hit you yet. I'm just going to go into a Night Slash. But we're going to pack it because I do not want to lose my focus. We can go there, and then I can just, uh, do a double down. Maybe go for a close combat here. Might as well, right? Might as well get off as much damage as we can on the Palkia slot. Get this nice slash. Yo, land this crit. Dude. Land this crit. Is that a crit? That might have been. Big damage. Was well, not even a crit, but still not bad damage. Close combat comes through. Palkia, get on out of here. Let's go, guys. Let's get it, yo. I'm sick of bursting the legendaries. I just want to whoop on all of them. Just want to smack up on all these legendaries. Just want to smack up on them so bad. He's going to go for the Shadow Force. That's totally fine. You can have that on. Here he comes. Go. Until I hit my top. Okay, yo. We love it. We love it. Thank God he actually hit my hit my top. And my hit my top survive, which is great. Okay, so he's going to send out his next Pokemon, who's going to be... Ooh, this Pokemon's a little scary. He could set up a Talon with him. He could definitely set up a Talon with him. Okay. So from here, we could go for Night Slash, and I am going to. And I'm more worried about this Latios here. You know what? I'm going to double down into Latios. I'm going to double down into Latios, just in case we don't kill it. I want to get rid of it just so he doesn't set up a tailwind. Because if this thing sets up a tailwind, then we can be sitting in a, in a, in a bad spot. So Night Slash, Night Slash pops out here. 
Hachiko, dude, I love you, Hachiko. Hachiko, I love you, dude. And we still have focus ash with him. He's just ripping through opponents. He's so strong. Close combat comes through. Has no effect. Can you just take out my head on top? I really don't want it on the field. Just for another Shadow Force. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yo. I'm, I'm, I'm over these legends. Good thing we're actually having a 6v6 battle here in battle number three. Make it a little bit longer considering that second battle was real quick. But yo, you guys know I love slapping up on legends. I hate seeing them. I hate going up against them, but I love slapping up on them. He's going to drop into Moltres here. Oh, shiny Moltres. Shiny fire chicken, dude. Looks like a chicken that it's all of its feathers burned off. Okay, let's just keep rocking into these nice slashes, dude. And should I hard swap here? You know what? No, I'm just going to help you hand. I'm just going to help you hand onto the Hanchi Crow. Have Hanchi just get it, get everything out of here. Hanchi Crow, baby. Hanchi Crow's going to go for that nice slash. Yo, yo, get a crit. Yo, take this thing out. Oh my god, that's a big damage. Flame by No! My focus sash! My focus sash. Hurricane comes out here. We dodge it. We dodge it. Shadow Force comes out here. Who's he going after that? Take out hit my top, please. Thank you. Okay, so hit my top finally goes down. I'm cool. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. We're burned. It's a little tough for us, but Hanchko, you'll you'll live it out. You'll live it out. We could go into who do we go into from here? We go into Skizzy. We could go into Skizzy. We could go into Tangro. Tangro's not too shabby here. But uh we have to have somebody that who can take out the Moltres. So it's either gonna be Gyarados or Scissor. I think we just bring in Scissor and just punch across. But then Flame Body. Ooh, Flame Body could do me dirty. So you know what? Rotom's gonna be the call. Rotom's gonna be the call. We'll bring out a lovely little Rotom. I could just go straight into a Night Slash and see how much damage it's gonna do. But I think I'd rather set up a Tailwind. I think I'd rather set up just a Tailwind for a squad. So Tailwind's gonna come out here, and we're just gonna Thunderbolt over it and take out the bird. Take out this lovely little bird. This fire chicken. Fire chicken, get on out of here, dude. I can't believe he flame bodied me. If he didn't flame body me, I was gonna drop a big old night slash onto the uh the Garatina, but I just feel like Tailwind's more important with a burn with the Hodge Even though Night Slash has a high chance of getting crit. Burn up's gonna come out here. Can we eat that? Please eat that. Son of a biscuit. He burns up fire chicken. God dang it. I hate you, fire chicken. Fire chicken does his dirty, allows us not to set up a tailwind, and he's gonna burn himself. That's totally fine. There's one time I'm just gonna thunderbolt. Let's say, hey yo, get on out of my face, fire chicken. Fire Chicken's gonna drop, and Garatina, if I had to guess, he's gonna go for another Shadow Force. Is he going for another Shadow Force? So what other Pokemon does he have left? We know he has Shaman. He goes for a Dragon Life. We know he has Shaman. Shaman, Garatina, and I think one more. Good thing we have that Citrus Berry. Citrus Berry Pokes give us some more HP. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Shaman? Garatina, and what was the last one? We didn't have Dialga. Who should I go into? I think the Bugs to call. I think the scissors to call. He brings out Shaman here. We can just pop a big old excision. But I totally forget his last uh, legendary besides Shaman. Oh, it's Latios. He had Latios, Latios, and Latios. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm thriving with that. I don't mind it. Not one bit. Not one bit. Red Bug comes out here. Look at him. Ready to go. Ready to rip up. We can drop an excision. And that's exactly what I'm going to take that thing out. And then, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I mean, excision definitely takes out Latios. So, you know, I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt and maybe try to get a Paralyzer over onto Garatina. I'm cool with that turn. I'm cool with that turn. I just want these legendaries out of my face. He's gonna drop a psychic. Uh, Rotom might be able to soak that, right? Yeah, I love you, Rotom. Rotom, you're my best friend. Thunderbolt comes out here. Give me the para, yo. Give me the para. That's all we want on this thing. Give it to me. Give it to me. Hate this game. He goes for Earth Power. We should be able to eat that up. It's beautiful. Mwah. Look at that. Soaking that up all day. And Latias, do me a favor, buddy. Do me a favor. Get on out my game. Get on out my Coliseum, dude. Drop that thing in one shot. And we are dominant. We are dominating legends. I love doing it. I love doing it. Love doing it. Like this person rolled in here. Oh, but I hate I hate that I have to kill the shaman. <laughs> but this person rolled in here is like, oh, I got all legends. I'm just gonna go steam all people. But like, nah, son, get out of my face. Drop another X scissor. I'm sorry, Shaman. I apologize, Shaman. I apologize. You are adorable, but I, I hate to have to hit you with an X scissor. I hate to do it to you. Yeah, seed. Oh my lord. It's signature move. <laughs> Drop me in one shot, no problem. I'm gonna kill my Rotom at full HP. I think that moves like base over 100. It's really strong. He drops another Earth Power. We eat that up. Shaman, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Shaman. I'm sorry. Oh, we ate it. Wow. He's bulky. It's not even Sash. Wow. Ate it up all day. All right, Tangrowth. Let's get you some loving out here. We have the Gyarados. Obviously, Gyarados would be the play, but I just like Tangrowth here. Just liking a little bit of Tangrowth action. You know, I can just do this. Bullet Punch. And we can, we can have some fun with this guy right here. Actually, I could sludge bomb him, but nah, we're going to put this thing asleep. We're going to say night-night to this Garantino. Who we left on the field this whole time. 
he led the Garatina, and we're just like, hey, he's not really doing anything too too scary to us. We're just going to leave him on the field. Full punch five through here. Shaman, get on that, monkey. Not dealing with you. Not dealing with you, you and your seed fighters, even though I absolutely love that Pokemon. He goes for a Shadow Force, and he banishes. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. It's pretty much, it's, it's over. We won this one. Look at that. We're grabbing ourselves a winning record. More importantly, we're defeating a team of six legendaries. Latios, Latias, Shaman, Palkia, Garatina, and who else did I dump on? Moltres. Yeah, Moltres. Uh, we we'll go for the X-Scissor. She... We have to speed him, don't we? I think we do. We go for sleep powder. Sleep powder? The scissor outspeed him. I think scissor does. Easy. No, it does not. Beautiful. So Shadow Force comes out here. Can you take out? Oh, yo, you hit my tank run. I'm sorry to hear that. X scissor pokes your. Oh, not very effective, but we just chip up damage. And now we're gonna say night night, dude. Sleep powder. Take your pills, dude. Take your sleeping pills. Go to bed. Just cancel the battle. Just cancel the battle. You guys should just cancel the battle. He knows it's over. He knows it's over. Now he's asleep. We go for bullet punches. And we're just going to rip into... Uh, I guess we'll go Sludge Bomb. I guess we'll go Sludge Bomb. I guess we'll go Sludge Bomb. But two turns should just finish it. But he canceled it. There it is, guys. Winning record. And we defeated a team of six legendaries. We had to do it to him. We just had to do it to him. 2-1 for today's video. Dominating. Dominated today's video. Absolutely love it. We made our second opponent quit. We defeated a team of full legendaries in battle number three. And in battle number one, it was a super close battle. And if RNG wasn't so whack, we might have had a chance of winning and grabbing ourselves a perfect record. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.